welcome to episode three of Create This Book 2 by Mariah Elizabeth and Ashley Monet. That would be me. So today I only have three prompts for you guys. Create This Book 2 actually has fewer prompts than the other Create This Books. And since I'm trying to finish them all at the same time, there will be a couple of weeks in Create This Book 2 where I only do three prompts instead of my usual four. As always, the link to my Create This Book 2 playlist is gonna be in the description below. And you would make my heart oh so happy if you would subscribe. Plus you will never miss a video. But enough of me talking, let's jump right in and see what I can create. <laughs> Okay, so flipping to the first prompt of the day, create a list of favorites. Choose any category. Place movies, foods, etc. Make a list of all your favorites. So for this one, I'm gonna work outside of the book with a little watercolor. The category I'm feeling today is breakfast foods. So let's dive into some of my favorites. First up, Eggs Benedict. Probably my favorite of all time. A crisp English muffin topped with Canadian bacon, a poached egg, and my own twist, a slice of cheese, because um, cheese makes everything better. And all of it drizzled with zesty hollandaise and garnished with paprika and chives. Mmm, my mouth is watering over here. Next, I'll torture a millennial cliche. Yes, avocado toast. Hey, it's all the rage for a reason. So simple, yet satisfying. I love to just throw a fried egg on top for the added protein and uh, cholesterol. <laughs> now for a sweet spin. I love, love, love waffles. Don't get me wrong, pancakes are good too, but I swear when you get that perfect waffle that's not too thick and it's nice and crispy on the outside while soft and sweet on the inside, top it off with some warm maple syrup, mmm, nothing better. Okay, this is my guilty pleasure because it has virtually no nutritional value, but a bagel and schmear. I've always loved bagels and cream cheese, but I swear when I got pregnant with Phoebe, that became like my obsession. I had it every day. And now every time I have one, she hounds me to share it with her and she eats most of it. That baby is made of bagel and schmear. Okay, this next one's not all that inventive. Um, I think pretty much everyone that's allowed to eat pig enjoys a good strip of bacon. Personally, I prefer mine on the crispy side, but the hubs prefers chewy. Sometimes I wonder if our marriage will last. Totally kidding. Where do you fall on the spectrum? Crispy or chewy? Okay, now my go-to when I'm on the go, stuck in that Starbucks drive through has got to be a warm butter croissant. They're so fluffy, so flaky. What can I say? Simple carbohydrates make my heart so happy. It's my burden to bear. Not all heroes wear capes. Now, when I want something more hearty, it has to be a breakfast burrito. I mean, what can compete with an entire breakfast? We're talking crispy potatoes, fluffy eggs, gooey cheese, and some kind of meat. Personal favorites for me are bacon or steak. Wrapped in a warm, soft flour tortilla. Mmm. Throw some green chili in there, and I'm telling you, it's a wrap. Literally. <laughs> it's a burrito. It's a wrap. Get it? But then there are some days where breakfast eludes me altogether. I'm a mom on the go, and sometimes there is just no time. On those days, I still enjoy starting the day off with a fresh brew of coffee. I love it, and it is all I need. So those are my faves. Now I need to make a list. Let's get all of this lined. And juicy highlight time. Now to write my favorite breakfast. And let's list them all here. After a little Mod Podge and Cut job, time to glue them in. And presto, here's my completed list of favorite breakfast foods. Yeah, I need to eat something now. Okay, after a little snacky snack, we're back at it. Create randomness. Scatter random things all over this page. So my solution for creating something that's truly random is to use a random object generator and draw those objects as they come up. So I have no say whatsoever. All right, let's see. The first object we've got is fridge. Hmm, okay, fridge. Uh, immediately, I'm inclined to draw a vintage type fridge, but I just did that in my iSpy page, so let's switch it up and let's just do a fancy stainless one. There we go. Next up, sponge. <sighs> okay, uh, we'll keep it simple and yellow with some little sudsy bubbles on it. Duh, why does this look like Swiss cheese? <laughs> oh no. Okay, next one. Sticky note. Okay, you guys know I'm all weird about matchy-matchy, so I'm going to try and make this randomness somewhat cohesive with color. So we're going to make it yellow. 
And for the note itself, I wrote, don't forget lunch. <laughs> I don't know why I've literally never used a sticky note as a lunch reminder, but hey, moving on. Chapter book. Okay. I guess let's make it more interesting with the pages kind of fanned out. Color-wise, let's stick with our yellows and uh, we'll add some browns here. Wow, revolutionary. Ooh, iPod. That's kind of fun. I'll do a silver one to match the fridge. I also definitely had a silver one at some point. And what's playing on this iPod? Kind of looks like some early Gaga. Next up, teacup. Aw, how cute. Let's do a little fancy gold trimmed one with a blue floral motif. For color coordination, of course. And we'll accent it with a little gold gel pen. Aw, that's sweet. Let's see, acorn. Okay, I can do that. Works with the browns and hay, kind of cute and uh, simple. You know, I think I love it. Next up, bottle of honey. I think I went wrong somewhere in the sketch on this one. It looks really squatty compared to an actual honey bottle. My bear has a little too much junk in the trunk. Hmm. Anyways, all of the golden yellows for color. Candy bar now. Okay. So I already can tell I made this one too big. I knew I only wanted to do 10 objects on this page, and I still had a bunch of empty space with only two objects to go. Man, and I should have made the wrapper totally silver, too. The brown looks odd. Eh, okay. Last one. Pair of dice. Alrighty then, easy enough. A few shadows and highlights here and there, and we are done. Now back to the book, let's go ahead and glue in our objects. Voila! A finished compilation of total randomness. <laughs> And for our final prompt of the week, create shine. Figure out a way to make this page shiny. I was super excited for this one. I definitely wanted to use Catwoman for this page for two reasons. First, I love her super shiny cat suit. And second, she loves to steal all things shiny and sparkly. Okay, three reasons. It's cat related. I love cats. But the point is shine. So, yeah. Uh, I started with a watercolor base and then went ahead and added some details with colored pencil and fine liners as seen here. And now time for some sparkle highlights. Okay, I've gotten some negative feedback on the frequency of the highlight song, and I've made a real effort to only use it once per episode, but come on, this is the shine prompt, you know I'm gonna use it again. Now for the neighboring page, I kept it pretty simple, just a black background with a sparkly diamond and the tagline, Diamonds are a girl's best friend, which I'm sure Catwoman would agree with. And now I want to give the prompt a little extra. Haven't touched a prompt so far in this video. What's that about? Let's do a blue to purple to pink gradient, picking up the tones of the diamond necklace that I gave Catwoman. And add some silver gel pen to the word shine. Now let's glue it all in. Frickin' love it. This page is my baby. Like I love the shine, the sparkle, the spice. Mmm, yes, this is me to a T. But now let's recap this week. We created a list of favorites, my favorite breakfast foods, from fancy Eggs Benedict down to just plain coffee. We created randomness, using a random object generator to decide exactly what we would decorate this page with. Between acorns and sticky notes, I'd say this is pretty random. And lastly, we created Shine with my favorite jewel thief, Catwoman, in her shiny bodysuit adorned with sparkly diamonds aplenty. Gotta say, this was a really fun, although short, week. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, come back next week to see what I create next. A uh, goodbye.